Logicality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. But we are initiated. I'm super excited! Look at there! Only prove beyond all reasonable doubt. Did you see that? that? The official NASA images of lunar exploration are fake. They and chucked that so thing out of a plane, world. dude, and said it came back from outer space. Look. In this film, we shall not only prove beyond all reasonable doubt. I've seen the International Space Station on YouTube and the astronauts floating about in it while they're orbiting the Earth at 17,000 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that unless you're in outer space. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Give me another it's week. It's as simple as using a zero-g plane and strapping a harness to their belt. Then, just like Batman movies, they remove the wires using a computer. At times, the manipulation reveals itself. Green screen and blue screen technology cannot always be flawless. How can you keep denying this trickery? Here we see Europe's space agency at NASA's studios using a blue screen with grids. This technology has been used for decades. It works best for 3D and live manipulation. Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Does anybody think it's weird that all of the astronauts that have been to the moon, all the dudes that have walked on the moon apparently, are um... Freemasons. Like, I was like, okay, like, maybe one or two, like, that's, like, still a little weird, but every single one? And we know exactly what lodge they go to, what rank. Uh, yeah, Tihon Lodge number 104, huh? Colorado Springs, James, huh? Here's Buzz Light, I mean, Buzz Aldrin's lodge number right there. Edgar Mitchell. Yeah. James Irwin. We got Leroy out here repping Lodge number 82 out of Colorado. Coincidence. <laughs> don't believe in those. But I don't think anybody's landing on the moon. We literally see the blue sky through it. Um, we can picture stars through it. Like, it's not a physical object, dude. It's, it's like a plasma.
weather balloon was raised in Antarctica to a height of 123,000 feet, 36.5 kilometers high. Conventional passenger planes are not allowed to fly here as it is forbidden to fly over the area. As you can see, the ice wall and large expanse of snow and ice can be seen. The Earth is flat and very large. You can see from the images, beyond Antarctica there are other territories still undiscovered. Those who say that the curvature of the Earth is not visible from the plane because it flies too low, that is, at a height of 11 kilometers, I want to see what arguments they come up with now supporting their fabulous theory, when here the balloon is raised at a distance of three times higher than a commercial airliner flies. It is obvious that the Earth is flat. Leave the theories developed by NASA and base your decisions on what you see. Not what you are told or NASA CGI images. The Earth is flat. rocket thing about the path that the rocket follows instead of moving in a straight line the rocket following a curved trajectory this isn't a mistake you will see the exact same thing in every other video of a rocket launch even so it doesn't seem to make sense rockets are supposed to go into space right so wouldn't it make more sense if they went straight up in a line rather than following a parabolic path They'd reach space much faster that way, it would seem. There must be a reason, because rocket scientists tend to be pretty smart, so, why do they not go straight up? Hello and welcome to Question Spot. Today we will explore the answer of, why is a rocket trajectory curved after launch? So let's get started. Short answer, because they want to get into the orbit around the Earth using as little fuel as possible. Wait a minute. Now do you hear what their excuse is for orbiting the whole Earth before going to space? We all know that the fastest way from point A to point B is in a straight line. That's like saying when we get on an airplane, the airplane circles the airport before it takes off onto its destination. Or when I get in my truck in the morning, I circle the block before I actually get on the highway and go to work. Come on now, people. Do you even comprehend how ridiculous that sounds? Saving fuel. And I'll tell you what's even more ridiculous than that. You got these globe tards that'll make these videos and put them on YouTube trying to explain that that's why the rockets curve on launch. Knowing, knowing good and well that they've never even seen a rocket in person or been beside a rocket or know anything about a rocket, but they'll go Google their information and then put out a little silly, silly video like you see here, 15 minutes and 47 seconds long, trying to explain a lie that they've been lied to and they have no clue what they're talking about. They're just giving you information that was handed down to them through a space agency. So anyways, I'm here to show you why rockets curve when they launch. Check it out. 
And so they they send these rockets up, but they don't really go anywhere. Yeah, if you back. watch the trajectory, right. it's never straight. It's never straight. It's never Where straight. Where are you going? Now, did you know that all rockets are launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida? Now, what's beside Florida? The ocean. You know what's in the ocean beside Florida? The Bermuda Triangle. Now, why don't they launch rockets from Texas, or Colorado, or Kentucky? Because there's no ocean there for them to fall back into. And that is why they launched from Cape Canaveral, so they can drop it right in the Bermuda Triangle and nobody ever know, nobody ever see, because nobody goes there. Now space shuttles, they do a little different, but it's still pretty simple how they pull it off. You ever notice once the shuttle gets up so high, its boosters fall down into what? The ocean, the Bermuda Triangle. And then the shuttle, which is not really a space shuttle at all, it's just an airplane, big goofy looking airplane made to look like a shuttle, and then when it comes back, nobody notices how it just looks like an airplane landing on a runway. Check out the wheels. See these little doors on these wheels? And this sp stuff is supposed to say, stay sealed in, in a vacuum? Yeah, come on now, people. It's time to wake up. Bermuda, I suppose. So, as you can see, the eye is wise. He's trying to teach the child the truth, but the wizard, which is a devil, is trying to lie to him. And then what's he say? Fly me to Bermuda and takes off like a rocket into the sky and curves off, just like you see real rockets do. And the reason they do, because there is no outer space. There's a firmament. There's nowhere to go. So it's just a little firework show to trick you and make you believe all this stuff. None of you have ever seen a rocket. You might have stood there in Florida and watched one go up in the air, but you've never seen one in space. Only on TV did you see one in space, not in real life with your own eyes. Wake up, people. Stop believing this bull crap. Those rockets go straight into that Bermuda Triangle. That's why they make up all these myths and don't want you around there. And they say all these ships are wrecked in there and all these planes have fell in there. Only thing that's fell in there is their rockets and their bull crap. Sorry to tell you, sorry to tell you. The only thing that's been to space is your imagination. <laughs>